In the wake of tragedies like the Pulse shooting, one UF student is working to get results, saving lives in an active shooter situation. It's all about his new portable ballistic shield that can actually protect people from AR-15s and other weapons. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest checked out the prototype. UF student Andrew Broomfield is confident that his invention here could help save lives. To make sure, he has been putting this shield through rounds of tests to see how well it protects against different kinds of weapons and bullets. Andrew Bloomfield is proud of his new invention that's designed to protect lives in an active shooter situation, but he's also disgusted that something like this is even needed. It's important because these kinds of things are happening far too often. I mean, we have situations where people are, are in these kinds of scenarios and they, they can do absolutely nothing to protect themselves. His idea to create a ballistic shield that can protect against certain rifle rounds came shortly after the Pulse nightclub shooting. With a flip of the latch, it opens right up. Hence the colors of his prototype. It's meant to be a uh, portable, concealable uh, shield for a situation of aggression, right? So if somebody, if you feel threatened, you can pull it out. It's something you can keep on you or something that could be put in a strategic place to be used in a scenario like this. But what if this shield were to get into the hands of the shooter? Bloomfield says it does not protect against armor piercing rounds, which are commonly used by police departments and SWAT teams. It, some terrible scenario where a shooter was able to coerce someone into protecting them. It, it's not completely undefeatable. It's just meant to stop the most common threats. He believes something like this will not only save lives, but could also act as a deterrent to make shooters think twice about pulling out a gun. There's the old uh, argument that, well, you never have a shooting in a gun store, right? Because no one's going in to shoot people with a bunch of guns. Uh, people target these places because they know they're going to kill a lot of people without any resistance. And you can help Broomfield here get results. He's hoping through donations he'll be able to put these shields through more tests and possibly make them available on a much wider scale. Broomfield's also trying to develop an affordable, lightweight model. He thinks it'll cost about 200 bucks. Mike DeForest, Getting Results, News 6.